Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and at time of recording is about 14 hours before Game Week 24 starts. In this video I'm going to look back at Game Week 23 and what I intend to do for Game Week 24. But as always we start with the most important thing which is who top scored in the Midnight Mule Mini League. Top scorer in Game Week 23 was Victso FP by Victso Pro. They scored 109 points. This is their team, so it was the double game week players helped them out a little bit. So De Bruyne 15, Mares 14, Haaland treble captain 30. So that's a nice, what's that, 59 points there. Shaw got 12, Saka 15, and Ketia 6. Estupinian, Est I can't say his name, right. Estupinian, something like that. He got 7 points, Brighton defender, he's very good. I'll probably buy him in a few weeks time. So that's that, and on the bench, the only real point was Andreas 6, but many people had Andreas on their bench, so there was no real loss there. So that was a very good score. Top of the league is still Jacob Eriksson with Skog Skelanton IF. He got 76 points this week, and as you can see, the top 10, 10th place is only 50 points behind, so any of those top 10 could be top in the next few weeks, or Jacob might take off and do really well. So his team was, let's have a look, Harland captain with 20, Shaw 12, De Bruyne 15, Rashford 8, Martinelli 5 and nothing else really. Now he did have Tony on the bench for 9, Andreas for 6, but to be fair, who would you have not played to play Tony instead? I mean you could have gambled maybe Trippier, but Trippier can get an awful lot of points and he is pretty good and... Also, Tony's goal, of course, was offside and shouldn't have counted anyway. So Tony should have really got two points, not nine. So there we go. So still top of our league. As for me, I'm currently 61st in the Midnight Mule FPL League. I think I went down partly because several new people joined the league above me, which is great. And there's a few below me as well. If you're not currently in the league, hopefully there's a link somewhere down in the description and you can join in too. So there I am, 79 points. So my scores were... Harlan 20, he was captain. De Bruyne 15, Shaw 12, Rashford 8, and Ketia 6, Martinelli 5. It was another low scoring week for many players, but there was one or two that stood out and they're very popular players. Because some weeks you get lots of fives and sixes all over the place. On my bench, this is the good thing. I didn't have any points wasted on the bench. There was Ward for three, and then Bamford, Perisic, Bueno all got one. So I was actually quite lucky because right up to the deadline, I was umming and ahhing whether to play Perisic or Shaw, and the difference was 11 points. So it was just fortunate I got that call right. I really could have gone either way. So 79 points, just outside the 2.5 million game week rank, which puts me on 1,381. Three green arrows, but as a tiny green arrow. I thought I might get a green arrow last week, and it, it was a very small green arrow, but it still counts. So I'm now one point outside of a million, rank last week i was two points outside a million rank so pretty much treading water really 511 subscribers that's amazing thank you very much if you do like this stuff please remember to hit the like button leaving comments is good and watching it's probably the most useful thing actually so thanks for watching it so in the fpl game week website this is a great site they've got a content creators league and when you look at it it shows you where you would go Top of the Content Creators League is currently Harry. And then Ross, who was once, once upon a time, a few weeks ago. Now he's third. And Ben Credden, last week's top, is down to fourth. And Harry has a lead of, looks like, 22 points over second place. So it'd be interesting to see if he now breaks away or if there's still a lot of silliness going on. So uh, I would recommend this is a good website to go to because you can see a lot of the content creators all in one place. When I compare myself to this league, I'm currently in 51st place. There I am, that's me with my old mule hat. So, transfers. If you've watched me before, you know that I say it's absolutely fine to take hits, at least by my reckoning. But I look at, generally speaking, a four-week view. How did it go in the four weeks? So this is the last week that I look at game week 20, which was a really bad transfer. And I took eight points doing it. So I took out Kepa, which we all know is a bad idea now, James Cantelo Sterling, to bring in double game weakers Edison Perisic Doherty, who's now gone, and De Bruyne. And over the four weeks, it's been pretty poor. It was a bad decision. But by the end of it, 
the players I brought in got 54 points, the players I took out got 36. So it was a net gain of 10. But the whole Kepper edison thing made a huge difference. Had I not done that, and I didn't need to, then I'd have had that would have been worth 30, over 30 points, that transfer. So for me, that was um that was a bit of a failure, that transfer set. But at least it didn't actually cost me points. So possible transfer, game week 24. The only one I'm seriously considering, and I may leave it till tomorrow morning before I do it, is taking out Bamford and bringing in Yao Felix. So I think over the next few weeks, Felix is going to score well over four points more than Bamford. I'm aware because it's only one transfer, it doesn't really cost me four points. But next game week, I'm going to be making three or four transfers. So if I didn't do a transfer this week and I rolled my transfer, I'd be spending four less points next week. But uh, I've not decided, but I probably will do this. So my captain this week is between Haaland and Rashford. I've still not decided on this. I'm almost certainly going to go for Haaland. And that is partly influenced by the fact I think more people would go for him than Rashford. So I'll probably make Rashford the vice captain. However, if I thought like 78% of managers were Rashford, I'd be more tempted to do Rashford. Because if you get this call wrong, if you go for the minority and the other one does well, you're going to lose a lot of rank. Whereas if you go with the majority and you get it wrong, then you're going to lose an awful lot less rank. So, uh, but like I said, I've not decided yet. I think Rashford's got a very good chance of getting six to eight points. I think Haaland's going to get one, two, three or 12, 17. So not decided yet. So how's my team looking? This is from Fancy Football Hub because I can take a screenshot with my transfer in there and show how it would look. So I do like home fixtures and we have a lot of home fixtures this week. So for Manchester United, at home to Leicester, we have Shaw, Rashford and Fernandez. And then Felix for Chelsea be home to Southampton. And I think if you're able to get any Chelsea players in this week that are likely to work, that are likely to play rather, it'd be a very good move to get them in because they they might win 5-0 or 5-1. I could see that being quite a high scoring game. And then Mitoma for Brighton at home to Fulham. Perisic at home to West Ham. I'm very much on the side at the moment of playing Perisic at the moment. Trippier at home to Liverpool. It doesn't matter who Trippier is playing or where he's playing. He could get an assist. Remote chance of a clean sheet, but I'm not really expecting that. And then away, I've got Edison for Man City at Forest, together with De Bruyne and Haaland. And then finally up front, Enketia for Arsenal, who are away to Aston Villa. Which means on my bench, I've got another two Arsenal players, Martinelli and Gabriel. But... I would rather have the 11 that I'm playing than play those two. So it's it's not an easy decision. Obviously, if I don't get Felix, then I'll have Bamford on my bench and I'll probably play Martinelli instead. Uh, and then I've got Ward on the bench and Bueno. So there we have a nice quick video, hopefully a nice quick video, of what happened in 23, what my plans are for 24. And I hope you have a good game week and I hope I have a really good game week. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.